Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Now today's video is going to be another foundation first impression and review. Now I recently bought the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Water Foundation. I also have this Kevin O'Quan the Sensual Skin Flua Foundation. I tried both of them on my hand and they honestly had such a similar texture. Their claims are also very, very similar. So I figured why not do a little bit of a foundation showdown. The Kevin O'Quan Foundation is obviously a very luxurious foundation. It is basically double the price compared to the Tarte Foundation, so I really wanted to put them head to head and see if there was really any significant difference. Do not forget to let me know what you thought in the comments. Let me know what other foundations you like to see um, sort of get compared to each other in a foundation showdown. Of course, do not forget to give this video a big thumbs up and click that subscribe button if you're not subscribed already. And yeah, without further ado, let's get into it. So we're gonna first start off with the basics as usual. So let's first start off with the Tarte Rainforest of the C Foundation. So this foundation retails for $39 Canadian. There is one ounce of product in this little bottle. It comes in sort of like this glass bottle and it has a dropper. This is a full coverage fluid formula that features 20% water to quench dry skin as it covers and masks any redness, dark spots, and uneven skin tone while softening the look of pores and fine lines. Now as for the Sensual Skin Fluid Foundation by Kevin O'Quan. This retails for $78 Canadian, so basically $80 Canadian. And there's actually 0.6 eight ounces of product in here. So there's not even one ounce of product. Now, as far as the packaging, this basically looks exactly like the Tarte one. It comes in a glass bottle with the same type of dropper. It's an oil-free, luxurious, ultra lightweight serum foundation that provides luminous coverage. Now, as far as the differences between the claims, the Kevin O'Quan Foundation says that it is a buildable coverage, while the Tarte Foundation right out of the gate says that it is a full coverage foundation. So I guess that's basically it. And now all we gotta do is just Apply the stuff to the skin. Now, if you're new to my channel and you're not really aware, I do have very dry and sensitive skin. I have really bad dry patches on my chin area as well as on my nose. So I'm gonna put the Tarte Foundation on my right side of my face and I'm gonna put the Kevin O'Quan Foundation on the left side of my face. So let's first start off with the Tarte. I'm gonna shake it up. It doesn't have any really significant scent to me. It doesn't smell like sunscreen or anything, even though there is an SPF of 15 in here, which is nice. So now I'm just gonna take my sponge and just start to blend it out into my skin. Whoa. So right off the bat, I am immediately really surprised with the amount of coverage that I'm getting with this foundation. Like this, this just gave me full coverage. I also noticed that this actually does not have a luminous finish. I find that it looks more like a satin or even almost like a matte finish. Like I also expected this to have more of a luminous finish and it looks pretty not luminous to me. This foundation is already full of surprises. Let's go on with the Kevin O'Quan the Sensual Skin Foundation. Now this seems to be a lot more liquidy compared to the Tarte foundation. It also feels almost more oily. This feels way more like a serum compared to the Tarte foundation. So now I'm going to take my sponge and blend this into my skin. Okay, so right away I can tell this gives probably about a medium coverage. So this did claim that it was a buildable coverage. So I'm going to apply a little bit more of the foundation just directly onto my face like that. And let's see if we can build this up because I do still see my redness peeking through. So I would say that this is buildable. It looks pretty natural. I still feel like I see a little bit of my skin peeking through, but it's a solid, medium, almost full coverage. Whereas the Tarte side is definitely like full coverage. I do not see any redness peeking through. So I would say this is definitely just a little bit more luminous, not like so much more, but we'll see how that sort of progresses like throughout the day. So here we have the Tarte side. You can see my skin literally just looks perfect. It is not attaching to any of my dry patches anywhere, whereas the Kevin O'Quinn side has basically done the same thing, but you could sort of see just a little bit over here, my redness still peeking through just a little bit. So right now I honestly cannot tell too much of a difference between the two sides. I find them to be very similar in the way that they look and the way that they feel. So I'm going to just finish off the rest of my makeup and I will be right back. So right now the time is 1.19 p.m. So I'm gonna go and get on with my day and I will check in with you guys a little bit later on. I actually just finished filming the clip that you just previously saw, but I want to take a look at what both the foundations look like in sunlight. 
because I just looked in the mirror and it looks very different than what it looks like in front of just like artificial lights, which is what I've been filming in front of. So I gotta say, when I look really close, the Kevin O'Quan side looks really really dry whereas the tart side looks really nice and hydrated i just feel like the kevin o'quan side has sort of stuck to a lot of my bright my, my bri oh my god i can't talk my dry patches and it's sort of accentuating the line here a lot i really hope that's not going to get worse throughout the day i don't want to look like a desert face by the end of the day but i guess We'll see, at least if that happens, it'll only be on one side of my face. I also want to do a flash test before I forget because the Tarte Foundation does have an SPF of 15. Just did the flash test, did not notice anything significant, it all looks good. So yeah, I'm going to wait a few hours and I'll check in with you guys when I'm out and about. It is now 4.33, so I've been wearing the foundation so far for about four hours. Now, I feel like nothing really has changed since the last check-in, I just feel like my skin is looking a little bit dry like all over on both sides again the Kevin side is a little bit worse than the Tarte side the Tarte side doesn't look bad but personally I don't know I'm just not loving the finish I have really dry skin so I like it when my skin has a little bit of like a dew to it right now I feel like it's not looking any type of dew it's looking really flat I don't know. All right, so we're back for my final check-in. It is now 7.30, so if the lighting looks a little bit dark, then I apologize because the sun is setting. The overall look of the foundations are basically almost identical, but there are a few key differences. On the sensual skin fluid side, I do find that my skin looks a hell of a lot drier than the Tarte side. I'm really surprised because this foundation was described as a luminous foundation and I do not find that my skin looks luminous whatsoever. And it has settled like crazy in my smile lines over here. Um, whereas on the Tarte side, it has not settled at all in my smile lines. In fact, this side just looks a lot better, but it is definitely still more of a satin matte finish, which personally is not my favorite. So here is the sensual skin side. Hopefully you'll be able to see the dryness in this area and that is what's really accentuated. Whereas on the Tarte side, you can see right away that the foundation did not settle in my smile lines and it looks pretty good. I feel like both these foundations honestly would be more suited for people who have a little bit more oil to their skin. So people who are more oily or combo or maybe even normal, just not really people who have like exceptional amount of dry patches. I feel like you probably wouldn't like it unfortunately because I mean that's what I have and I'm not like the biggest fan of it. I find it did accentuate them the slightest amount and honestly if I'm going to be wearing a foundation I don't want my dry patches to be accentuated. It's as simple as that. But I definitely got to say that the Tarte Rainforest of this foundation is the winner of this foundation battle um, like I said I just found it wore better I find it looks less drying on my skin however I personally prefer a foundation that has a little bit more of a luminosity to it so I don't really see myself going towards this foundation too often however when I do want more of a satin matte finish this is definitely going to be the foundation that I'm going to be reaching for so that is it for today's foundation battle I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video don't forget to let me know in the comments what other foundations you like to see me put to the test if there are any similar foundations that have similar claims that sort of feel the same that you would like me to put head to head I think this is a really great way to sort of see which foundation comes out on top also do not forget to give this video a big thumbs up and of course click that subscribe button if you're not subscribed already and I will see you guys next time bye Hey guys, welcome back. Now today's video is going to be a natural looking minimal makeup spring makeup.